Subforms and Zoho CRM have had one of the biggest glow-ups in history, but John wants to know if it's enough to beat out a related list. Let's find out on today's Azad. Hello, I'm Greg Belknap, and welcome to Ask Zanata Anything About Zoho. Today's question comes from John Bloomfield, who asks, how powerful are CRM subforms now compared to related lists? We need to make calculations based on the content of the subforms to be fed into a client portal. We also need the simple way to import new data and not overwrite what's already there. We also want to merge the data into documents. So John's got three core requirements here, each of which could apply to many other viewers. So let's address the pros and cons of each between using a CRM subform versus a related list. But before we do that, let's clarify what a subform versus a related list. A subform is a table that sits within an individual CRM record. Its columns and their respective data types are configured within the layout editor of the module the subform is set in. You can have up to two to five subforms per module, depending on your CRM plan, and you can have up to 25 subform fields per module and up to 200 subform entries per record. A related list is a table that represents records that are related to an individual CRM record, but the data is not actually kept on the record. The most common related list is that of another Zoho CRM module with a lookup field to the related records module. As an example, the contacts module has a lookup field to the accounts module. So any record on the accounts module has a related list of contact. A related list can also be configured to connect to a Zoho creator app, an embedded JavaScript widget, or a custom XML function. For today, I'll be keeping it simple. So whenever I say related list, I'm referring to a relation defined by a CRM lookup field. So first, John needs his data aggregated on the record so it can be surfaced to a client portal. If you'd asked me a year ago, I would have given this to subforms by default since it's had aggregate fields as long as I can remember. But now with the added rollup summary field in the layout editor, you can aggregate data from related lists. So if I go into, let's say a contact and I want to edit the page layout, I have the option of a rollup summary down here. And here I can select the related module that I want to summarize and then pick the field that I want it to bring over, such as related deals. You can have a number of total deals, total deals lost, highest deal lost revenue, etc. However, while this is really cool, it's still not quite enough to beat out subform because as you may have noticed, the rollup summary only works on system defined modules at relation, no custom. So if you create a custom module to act as a related list, it's not going to show up as one of the options you can select here. You'd have to create a custom deluge function to update the parent record with that aggregated value to some custom field. In terms of surfacing aggregated data directly on a record, the winner's got to be subformed. John also needs to be able to add records on mass via import. Subforms and related lists pretty much work the same way here. You upload a CSV, and to match each row of your file to a parent record, you need a value that is unique to the parent module record. Let's do another example. If I wanted to import into the contacts module, I can select a subform. Then I can select whether I want to add new subform entries, update existing subform entries only, or the same is true of a related module. You simply import directly into that module. Back in the early days of subforms, if you wanted to import subforms into a module, it would delete any already existing data. So you had to export all of your data first, then re-import it with your new data. Ugh. Luckily, that is no longer the case. But where related lists and subforms differ is what unique fields you can select from. In the case of subforms, you can only do it based on the subform record ID. This ID is auto-generated when you very first import the data. So in order to update existing subform entries via import, you have to export all of your subform data first, then merge with the new data and then re-import it. So while data doesn't get deleted, you could end up with duplicates here. So this round is gonna go to related lists, which have just that little bit more flexibility when it comes to importing. Finally, John wants to be able to generate customer facing documents using the data in his subform or related list. Subforms have really come a long way in this regard. Zoho Writer merge templates can generate repeating sections based on both subforms and related lists. 
Notice they separate them, subform and related list, including aggregating and filtering these records based on uh, user-defined criteria. Now, the one edge where subforms have an advantage over related lists is that in addition to being able to come on mail merge templates, subforms can also be included as an inline table on a standard Zoho CRM email template. So this third and final round, it's gonna go to subforms. So with subforms winning two out of the three rounds, they seem like the obvious winner. But we do have to ask one more question. What is going to be the volume of records related to a single record? Because subforms has a much lower limit than related lists do. If it's possible for more than 200 records to be related to a single record, then subforms are forced to step aside and you've got to use a related list. Uh, the same also applies if your related records have more than 25 fields that would need to be related to each entry. So in John's case, I would say that whether he uses subforms or related lists mostly depends if he needs to be updating the existing subform entries via import or just adding new ones via import. If he only needs to add new ones, then definitely go with subforms. But if he has to update existing subform entries themselves, then related lists have them beat by a mile since you can set almost any field as unique in a custom module. Nobody wants to have to export all of their subform data every time they want to add something new. But I would still be interested to know what you think. Which would you choose if you were in John's shoes? Do you have any success stories or maybe a cautionary tale? Get in the comments and let us know. Well, that's going to do it for this week's Azaz. If you found this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe and share it to your fellow Zoho nerds. On our YouTube channel, you can find more Zoho tips as well as the latest from Zoho on the CRM Zen show. And if you would like to get in touch with us about developing your Zoho platform, head to zanata.com and click on book a meeting. I'll see you in the next one.